This is a short video that will show you how to set up the Team Services extension for Visual Studio Code. After installing the extension and starting Visual Studio Code, I'm going to go ahead and open a local folder that is my Git repository. This one's called Deep Space. Once I do that, I'll get a message from the extension that says I'm not yet connected to Team Services with my account name. So I can choose the Learn More button, which will open a web page that describes uh, this, what I'm showing you here, or I can click the Show Me button, which, which will open this video on YouTube. It's important to note that with a recently released TFVC support, you can also open a local TFVC workspace uh, that you previously created, and you'll also be prompted for credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and close this message, and then go out to my Team Services account. Go ahead and select on my profile and select security. Make sure I've chosen personal access tokens. Click on add because I need to create the personal access token. I'll go ahead and give it a name. Choose an expiration which is 90 days, 180 days or a year. 90 days will be just fine. Authorized scopes can be all scopes. For TFVC support it's important to note that we need all scopes for the auth uh, authorized scopes for your PAT. For the Git extension, we just need build, code, and work items for um, read access. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, all scopes token. Go ahead and click create token. Once that token is created, I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Then come back into Visual Studio Code. And I can either click down here on this uh, status bar indicator. So I can run sign in or just run the sign in command directly. I'm going to go ahead and paste my personal access token. Press enter. And you'll see that the extension is loaded um, a deep space team project. And you can see I have two pull requests assigned to me, a successful build, and also nine work items assigned to me. So that's how you set up the team services extension for Visual Studio Code.